This tutorial is for Photoshop and the use of the custom shape path tools. Now, custom shapes are here, just the custom shape tool there. Just go over to the palette and you will see a selection of custom shapes. Now, the native ones are here. I've actually loaded some graphicextra.com custom shapes. You can find this set on the website as a free sampler set. So, just those designs. So, you can go and download those if you wish. Right, next thing. Change the color via the color option here. I'm just going to apply the shape for one of the first shapes. So I'm just going to go like that. Now go to the various shape tools here. So you can add and subtract different designs. So I'm just going to use the same shape. But I'm just going to click that that one there. It's the subtract option. And that subtracts the shape. Now that's great for creating like a frame. So you can you've actually got that design. So you can just just drag it over. You can actually see through the design, so you can have a sort of image behind that if you wish. Right. Also, you can transform that if you wish. Edit, transform path. Just use the various scaling tools. Rotate, etc. So you can create many different designs from the same design. I'm just going to get rid of that one. Delete that. Just going to go to another shape tool. Just select that one and I can now add also so I'm just going to click the add option that's the add option there and that adds design I can also of course just go and use one of the other shape tools the ellipse tool say just add a path there so you can do that right they're very useful for creating new shapes of course once you've done that you can also go and define custom shape. So if you go to edit menu, define the custom shape, and you can just save that new shape. Just that and then just click there. Go to back to the shape custom shape tool and you can see the custom shape stored there. Now to permanently save it you will have to use the menu here and save shapes. So you can just save the shape that way.